Okay, since you're here, I think you've seen these before. They are like uh, cones that uh, slide in and out in one another. And I'll show how to model them in Fusion. So this is the basic uh, shape you need to do in a sketch. And then just twist it up in one of uh, one cone. So let's get into it. It looks like uh, when I made my first successful print, and uh, as you see here, I'm not at the end of the timeline. And uh, these features are just some small fixes to the uh, small problems. But let's come to that later uh, and go back to the beginning so here I just made one uh, circle circular sketch around the origin and extruded it like that uh, to get there just um, select a distance and uh, a taper angle so that it goes in and uh, next uh, I created uh, this sketch at the bottom let's edit that and hide the body so I decided to make a pattern of six spirals uh, but I only sketched one of uh, the uh, not sure what to call them the arms or whatever so the important thing here is that it's not uh, uh, too wide, so it uh, comes uh, so this uh, distance becomes too small. And another thing is to make uh, this one perpendicular to this line. So when it comes to uh, the next one, this uh, transition here will be smooth. So you could have um, um, patterned this in the sketch, but I prefer to pattern um, in uh, 3D objects, and uh, that's advised for in Fusion in general. So uh, I had to play around a lot with uh, this sketch to get it to look nice. So probably you have to do that as well. And um, this angle is. Uh, uh 30 plus 30 is 60 and that's a thi sixth of uh, the 360 degrees so that's why this uh, construction line is here uh, okay finish sketch next step let's see I made a copy paste of the body because we need two and then I'm not sure what this uh, move was about. Uh, ah, ignore that. So, next uh, I made uh, one more sketch. Like this, it's just uh, one straight line from the origin and up. And then, ah, finish sketch. Then it's time for uh, this uh, cut. So let's hide the body. I didn't do the cut through. And as you see, this is uh, the profile. And uh, uh, this feature is called a sweep. So you need, for the sweep, you need a path. This is the path and you need a profile and this uh, sketch we made before is the profile so in my model I chose to make a 360 degrees twist angle so it goes around one full circle and uh, make sure this is perpendicular and operation is of course cut and it's just body one so if both are visible uh, you have to unselect the one you don't want to make the cut through uh, here 
okay and uh, then I made a pattern of uh, the feature so set uh, this to a feature and I selected uh, this one the sweep and uh, quantity is 6 and for axis just select uh, something round or the axis in the middle here okay and then uh, with both of them visible make this uh, combine so uh, the one that is not cut is the target body and the tool body is, is uh, the one with uh, the spiral cut through it and uh, with this selected I also keep the tool so both are still there after this operation and uh, because I was to uh, 3D print this we cannot have bodies that are uh, that close to one another because it will just uh, jam so this one is on those faces so we have to select uh, both this and this for each arm and the distance was uh, in my case uh, minus 0.5 millimeters so it differs uh, between uh, different printers and uh, settings in them what you need uh, this was uh, good for my printer uh, and uh, I also made uh, a small offset uh, on the other uh, cone Let's see if we can bring it up. Here you have it. So on the other uh, body. So here it's uh, um, um, easiest to select them from the bottom. And uh, those faces were offset by minus 0.4 millimeters. And as I said, that was great for my printer. But uh, a friend of mine. Uh, uh, great bamboo uh, printer and when you try to print the same file uh, it uh, it works fine but uh, the fit was a little bit sloppy so maybe he should uh, bring those numbers down a little bit and then I made uh, some small chamfers down here it's not necessary but uh, I think it slides a little bit easier into one another if you have made them at least here and there. And then I made this uh, fillet on the top. It's just a simple fillet. So, and here I just pull them apart so they were ready to export for print and uh, now we come to the small problems I had with this print as you see here at the top those are very very thin so the slicer became a little bit confused about them and I tried to print them anyway and the print just stacked small very very tiny uh, layers on top of here some just small dots stacked on one another so and down here was also a problematic area uh, at the beginning here it's really really thin so I made uh, some uh, small adjustments there and not anything I'm proud of, proud of but uh, uh, I just uh, made a small sketch to extrude away a little tiny bit of the, this 
like that and made a circular pattern of that so it it's on every spiral in this part and uh, then I created a, a construction plane on one of the arms up here and this kind is uh, I think it was uh, this uh, tangent plane is it it is so I wasn't very precise when placing it but it works it's just there for cutting off in, uh, having a sketch on it the and uh, let's hide the plane uh, the sketch looks like this so it's just there to cut away the top with an extrude and then a circular pattern on that feature so they are not as sharp so I hope that works uh, you probably will have to try things out and um, uh, change small things like uh, the, the offset in in those features and uh, maybe the angle of the cone and uh, uh, probably uh, uh, this sketch also you have to fiddle around with until you're satisfied so that's it see you